This is an Olight Baton, which I think started the torch sort of review things off. Uh, I did a review of this quite a while ago. Uh, it still works. Turbo still works. It still comes on, it still goes off, it still charges. This is the Olight Baton 3. I do use this quite a lot. I have done a review on it in the past. I'll put a link in the description. I use this for my go-to sort of daily thing because it's small, it's easy to carry. The battery lasts so long on it and it's got a very white beam to it. This is the Olight Baton 3 Pro Max which should be the same as that but bigger. In the box, which is already open because I've had to open it to make sure it works because if it didn't, didn't work there's no point doing a review is there? So as you pull it out of the box there's nothing in the box, there's no sweets, I don't think there's any sweets. That is firmly wedged in there. In here we have uh, the destruction manual a carrier. These chargers, if you lose the charger, um, you're stuck really. That's the only downside that I actually know about Olight stuff. I've got three of them. I've still got three chargers. So I'm alright, but they charge in the easiest of ways like that. Uh, that lights up when it goes green, I think it is, then it's fully charged. The pouch is just a normal pouch that you can put the thing in. I'll show you like that and then pull that and it's in there. Please read this document carefully before use and keep it for future reference. Oh, it, It's actually in 3000 different languages as you can see by that. If we put it straight onto turbo watch this it dims down Look at that, eh? Eh? If you shake it a bit, <laughs> it actually illuminates and it tells you what the battery level is without even turning it on or, or anything. Uh, inside we have, I think it's a 5,000 5000 milliamp 21700 and as you can see the bottom is actually magnetic. So this one was a 2000 lumen output, you know the beam pattern in my opinion is, is probably the best one because it's a very soft sort of thing so you've got illumination all around, there's no direct beam on it and as you can see the Baton 3 Pro Max is new enough the same as that. On this one the button the power button or the on-off button is more recessed so it's less chance of actually accidentally pressing it. So then the first click as you turn it on, that one is supposed to be 12 lumens and 180 hours run time and then you've got the next one which is medium which is 100 lumens and that one is 23 hours run time and then you've got high which is 660 lumens and that's 243 minutes run time and then you've got turbo uh, yeah, I was looking at this wrong. On the side there, it says that actually the warm white is the bottom one, the cool white and neutral white are the top ones. So, on moon, which is that, that's one lumen, and then you've got low, which is 15 lumens, and then you've got 120 lumens, then you've got 800 lumens, and then you've got 2,500 lumens. That wasn't quite obvious until I thought oh there's a grey bit there what does that mean? Before I go out and test it this is just what they call is an L shaped stand so you've got a spare adhesive strip there uh, you pull that adhesive strip piece protective piece off there and then you stick it onto something vertical horizontal and then that will stick onto there that's not even on there and it's holding uh, you stick that on there and it'll hold it wherever you want with this thing you could stick that on the wall like that and then you can put that on there and you can hang it on the wall and then you can charge it at the same time. So now with the powers of time travel and a bit of camera trickery it's night time. Good morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another day <laughs> on planet earth. I wouldn't exactly say it's fantastic because it's what, two, one or two degrees and it's three o'clock in the morning because that's what time I get up Anyway, today I thought it'd be the ideal opportunity to come out and test this. 
Uh, this is the Olight, hang on, I'll put my glasses on. This is the Olight Baton 3 Pro Max. It says there. So that is on absolute minimum, but you can still see things. It'll be right in a, in a room for lighting the room up sort of thing. Uh, and then you've got the next level. And that turns it off, Tony, a dickhead. And then you've got the next level. Which obviously is going to be better and you'll be able to see a lot more in the distance. And then you've got the next level. Which is bright. Our light lights have got like a, a soft beam to them. There, there is no actual beam, it's more of a, an all-round sort of a light. The Olight ones as an everyday carry sort of thing for whatever you need is, is perfect really. Now you've also got turbo, which is there. Now one of the things that Olights used to suffer with is they get hot. Every Olight that I've tested gets hot. So I'm going to leave this on turbo for five minutes or as long as it'll take it and I'm going to see how hot it gets. It's been on turbo now for three or four minutes and it hasn't gone down brightness so it hasn't got hot enough to go down. You can still hold it. I, I, can, I can still put my hands around that, no problem at all. Now we'll test, I'll put, I'm going to put the camera down here. With this intelligent mode, if it senses that something comes into proximity with it, the beam goes down. Now that, I presume, is so as, oh look at that, if it's put facing downwards or anything, then the brightness will drop, as you can see it's switching on and off there. Anyway, I've also brought the Baton 2, because I'm going to compare it. Oh no, it's the, oh, it's the, the original Baton this one is. So that's on, that's on minimum, and then we've got middle, and then we've got high. Then we've got turbo. So, in comparison to the other one, I'm going to put the video side by side. That's on maximum, it's not on turbo, just maximum. I am pleased to say that this doesn't get warm anymore. Sorry, it doesn't get hot. It does get warm, but not hot hot, not like the other one did. No fish yet. There's going to be some rather large fish down there. That's on turbo now, which is what I like to test them on. Purely to see how hot they get, see if they can stand it. And that's not hot. It's warm, it's not hot. Definitely not hot. So well done, our light, you've cured that problem. Come on trees, I need you to do your tree bit. And not go flying. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Um, hit that like button, smash that subscribe bell. Hey, hit that subscribe button, smash that like bell. Or not. I don't care. <laughs> Catch you later.